Hello and welcome to another episode of this Australian Beyond. Where we are, we are at this beautiful St. George Motorboat Club Marina. Incredible. All these beautiful boats around here worth millions and millions of dollars. And I can tell you what, you can hardly see them moving out of here. I've probably seen three or four just going out in about six months that we've been here. But why are we here? We're here because we have a beautiful Siray 28 foot sand dancer here at the marina. And I'm gonna show you this boat because you can actually own a part of it. And this beautiful lifestyle of living, this lifestyle in a beautiful marina on board, always wet. That's the name of the boat. Yes, it was a lady owner and she named it always wet only because she's always in the water and she's always wet. I think. Okay, let's go and have a look. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this is her, always wet. And while I'm going to here, before we start anything else, have a look at this. This is the amazing thing about this boat here. It's got two controls here, so you can operate the anchor from here as well. And this is what is called a search light. Boats don't have lights, they don't need them, because at night time you don't need a light. But this is a searchlight, that's what they call. And it's remote control, goes around like this and up and down. Okay, let's go on board and I'll show you this amazing boat. Okay, we're taking the clears off. We're gonna take these covers off and everything. Now, one problem that you have with boats, with the clears, and generally with this cannabis, is these buttons here. As you can see now, we cannot get this out. Very hard to get it out. I'll show you this amazing tool later on that we have that makes life a lot easier. Okay, so what we do now, first thing is just to take all the clears off so we can get some nice fresh air. Very easy to get them out. Just a few zippers here and there. Actually, there's three zippers on this cover here. And see, it's almost out. The only thing you have to watch is that it doesn't fall in the water. <laughs> okay, come on board, come on board, come in, come inside. I'll show you. Come and have a look. Come inside, come inside, come inside. Right, so this is it. Now, we take the clears off. Look at this. No, 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 no. It's not a thing to open your beer. This is to open the buttons on your clears. Now, you can use them to actually close them, but also, it's a good idea to use them to take them off. See that? Easy. Now, this way, with this particular tool, you don't put any stress onto the material itself. You go straight onto the button. I'll show you, come here. Now, this clears here, they've all been brand new. they only just been fitted about three months ago. Come and have a look, come closer, come closer. Come, 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 come. Don't be shy, look. See that? Now, that's better. That's a lot better. And when you want to put it on, same way, like that. Look at that. Oops, missed it. Okay, has to go inside and in. Easy. So what we do now is we're going to take this one's off. Now this one's here we actually put velcros as well as zippers. You can see here again the same thing. See how they come off nice and easy. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you should do it. Now you can buy this tool here from Whitworths or you can buy it online. They're only about $35 or maybe $40 but you know what they're worth the money in gold because when it's, this is pretty tight you can apply a lot of pressure into this so you can put it on. Amazing tool. Whitworths, $35 a thing. Online, maybe about $30. <laughs> okay, so we take the clears off. Voila, that's the last one of the front ones. Beautiful. 
$35. Oh, you're still here? Okay, this one's here, basically, we just roll them up very quickly. We just tie them into here and then you can get a lot of nice fresh air. But you can still, within minutes, you can actually cover your board. Now, where is this thing? It was here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Found it. Right, okay, let me finish this. And then we can go inside and have a look inside of this magnificent board. We're actually going to take it outside and we're going to show you a few tricks like how to just throw your anchor, what you should be aware about the anchors, and also how you should be approaching a wharf and things like that. You can still hear me? Okay, still there. Okay, last one. Ah, oh, I'm getting good at this. Beautiful. So now that the board is open, we can start looking how we're going to take off. The first thing we have to do is check the engine, oil, water and everything we have to do. And of course, we don't forget to take the cable that gives us power from the marina. But the first thing we have to do is just lift the hatch and put the blower on to make sure that we just get any fumes out of the engine compartment. But the next thing to do is just lift the hatch up. Now the hatch, look at that. Look at this, it's hydraulic, it lifts the whole seat, the table, everything all up at once. Isn't that wonderful? You don't have to actually take out seats, you don't have to worry about it, just one thing, straight up. And one good thing about this boat is that it has an automatic fire extinguisher system for the engine. So if something goes wrong, which I hope it doesn't, it's automatic. So it can actually just extinguish the fire if there's a fire straight away without you having to worry about it. And the other good thing that we have in this board is a monoxide, carbon monoxide alarm. And it's very loud, I tell you. I heard it once. Oh, it's very loud. Okay. What else do you want me to tell you? Oh. Oh, the engine, of course. Beautiful engine with about 130 hours. This is a 2005 model, but the lady never used it. Listen to this. Wow, straight away she just started. Okay, so over here now we can see our full consumption, how much percentage we have in our, in our fuel tanks. This boat takes 408, 408 liters of fuel and it takes uh, 104 liters of water okay now these are all indicators here about all our ah uh... oh, this is what i'm looking for see 151 hours 151 hours when we got this boat it only had 86 in about six months we've done as many hours as the lady did in from 2005 to 2017 that's five. Oh my God! It's six months we've done the same hours that this boat did since 2005, which is 12 years. Incredible, isn't it? Anyway, and here we have other things here that it tell us how much fuel we use. Uh, okay, the temperature. But we also have them here. Look, the miles and here. This is our temperature. This is our trim tabs, this is our fuel. Oh, we need some fuel. We're pretty empty, so we'll have to go and get some fuel. And this is our, look at the, the uh, pressure on the engine. Beautiful, at 50 PSI. Isn't that incredible? Beautiful, like brand new, that engine. Over here, we have also our navman with our navigation as well. And here is the system, the clarity system, the sound system that has two speakers over here on the spoiler plus we have two speakers inside as well oh maybe four i don't know i have to have a look i think it's two at the front but you can actually use the system from here as well so you can play your music from here as well as from the inside <laughs> music to my ears all right now the next thing we have here oh here we have a little problem because the ball wasn't I was left for a while, we'll have to change this one here. That's okay. Now over here, what we have in here is our, remember I told you about the spotlight? That it actually, you can open it from here and it's remote control. You can see it over there. So you got turning, turning. Oh, and we can turn it on. It's, it has two separate beams. 
and it can just move around and up and down. That's a searchlight at the front. And here is our anchor system over here, which you can operate from here, or you can operate from over there with the foot controls and the trim tab buttons over here. Right, now let's go inside. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go outside. So here on my right, there's a nice lounge that you can also lie down even at night time sometimes we sleep on this city here because it's nice and cool outside and over here we have a table in the middle and we can sit one two three four five people plus one two three here that's eight. Oh, eight is too much around about six or seven people is the best for this boat okay eight all right licensed you can carry 11 people on this boat but preferably eight to seven to eight people Okay, now do, we do have the carpet here, but when you do the fishing, you have to remember to take the carpet off because the smell stays in the carpet of the fish if something falls down like a prawn or anything like that. And then it's easy to clean with the hose from the front to the back, just with the hose. Easy peasy, but the carpet off when you do the fishing. Let's go inside. Remember, when you actually own a boat, the same way you come out, the same way you, same way you have to go in. So you step backwards because a lot of the steps on these boats are actually very steep. Not in this one, but in a lot of boats. So the same way you come up and uh, the, uh, the same way you go down. This is the door here, which is lockable. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah, that's better. And what you can see here, can you hear me? Hello, are you there? Oh, oh, you can't hear me, sorry. Yeah, you can see the steps, so you can actually get up onto nice, big, comfortable steps that you can get up to the deck. Ah, I forgot to tell you, of course, that you get up to the deck. Oh no. You can open this one here. And this then becomes easy to get up there for anything, for sunbathing or to just release your anchor or whatever you want to do. But let's go inside. Remember, backwards. One, two. Now, so this is the V-berth. So two people can sleep comfortably in here. There's another cabin at the back in here and another two people can sleep over there. Uh, actually, mm, it's a bit hard now to take any footage because we use it for storage, but you can see from the window that there's plenty of room under there for two more people to sleep. So, this one also becomes another dining room. So there's a a post in here that we put in there and then we put the table on top and this becomes another lounge. Okay. And in here of course we have all the creature comforts including this electric stove that also becomes a methylated spirit one. So you can use it even if you're outside. Okay, now in here we have a tap with the water. You have plenty of pressure for cold water and the hot water there is a hot water system as well that works with the engine as well as the electricity from the marina and in here we have a microwave plenty of storage space here plenty of storage space down here and then in here there is the fridge now the fridge works with 24 volt like with the batteries or with 240 so when you're in the marina you work with 240 volt now on this board we have an amazing system in the toilet. This is a toilet here, it also has a shower and it's also a basin and a mirror. But the toilet system is called Aquavac. Yeah, come and have a look. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not like the other toilets that they actually use seawater because that stinks. There's microorganisms in those toilets and they cause a lot of smells. This one here uses fresh water and you just press this and voila! That's how it works. It's a great system, it does, it smells very, very nice and it uh, actually, it doesn't have that funny smell when you actually use sea water. Now, if you want to own part of this lifestyle and just go to these beautiful beaches around Sydney and also you can do your fishing, 
you just have to give us a call or email us and you can buy one share for six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars that's one tenth ownership of the boat that's ten percent now you buy this outright you own it you can sell it it goes through a unit trust so it's a sellable commodity you can sell it for five six seven thousand ten thousand whatever you want to sell it for but you can definitely get your money back there's some yearly expenses that you have to be aware of and that's the marina fees but if you're in a syndicate the beauty about it is that we can afford to have it in the marina and i tell you what most of the times we enjoy ourselves even here at the marina we don't even go out it's incredible so basically you're paying around about a thousand dollars a year that's for maintenance insurance insurance is 735 dollars for this boat my car is one thousand seven hundred dollars and this boat is 735 dollars full insurance and uh, we'll have the maintenance which is about a thousand dollars to hundred dollars a year for servicing the engine and all the bits and pieces and what else you have per year that's about it oh the registration fees it's about five hundred dollars a year so around, around about a thousand dollars covers your yearly costs if we are at the marina here at st george if we move to a marina in sydney harbour then it will be around about 1200 to 1300 dollars per year per year that's only 100 dollars per month and you can own this beautiful boat